This week, I'm tending to one of the most neglected areas in my home, the front closet, or the coat closet, or the entry closet. It has a lot of names, but the one I'm referring to is the closet which resides closest to your front door, this one. In my home, this is where we keep our winter coats, our shoes, our boots, our gloves, our hats and scarves, umbrellas, keys, shopping bags, and a whole bunch of other stuff that we like to keep conveniently by the front door in one small little space. The problem is that over time, these things start to build up, and especially after this winter, they create a closet catastrophe. Now, this closet isn't included in my regular cleaning routine, so seeing as how it's spring, and we're talking spring cleaning, I figured it's a great time to address this mess. And who knows, maybe it's something that you're planning on cleaning too. This video is an excerpt from the Ultimate Spring Cleaning Guide, which you can find over at cleanmyspace.com. You can also join the free Clean My Space community while you're there. All right, let's get started. And to do that, we're gonna remove everything from the closet. The first step is an easy one. Remove everything, and I actually mean everything, from your closet. Take out all of the shoes and boots and place them off to the side. We'll get to those soon enough. Take all of your coats and find a temporary place for them. Do the same for your hats and mittens and gloves and scarves, umbrellas, and anything else in your closet. We need it bare naked to continue to step two, which is vacuuming and wiping. We'll start this step by vacuuming out the whole closet, top to bottom, including any shelves and even the corners where spider webs can linger. Next, for those of you with a sliding door like mine, you're going to clean the track using all-purpose cleaner and a microfiber cloth, perhaps using a vacuum with brush attachment or cleaning toothbrush if necessary to get right in there. And wipe any dirt or marks left on the walls. Then hand wipe the floor. I know it's awkward, but it's hard to get them off in there. Finish this step up by giving the doors a good wipe down. As you can see, mine are mirror doors, so I'm just using a simple mixture of vinegar and water and a microfiber cloth. Now, if your closet has regular painted wood doors, you can just use an all-purpose cleaner to wipe them down. The spring change out. Now that the winter is finally gone, I don't need any more of these in my coat closet. So what I've done is picked up one of these. It's a vacuum bag and it's essentially an extra large zippered bag where you can suck all of the air out of the top once you're done stuffing it full of all of the things you don't need to use anymore. So I'm gonna put all of these in here, suck out the air and stuff it under my bed. Now, of course, if you have an extra closet in your house, you can store your winter jackets there instead. And here's a handy hack for those who do. Stuff silica gel packs into the pockets of your coat to protect from moisture while being stored. This is also a really good opportunity for you to donate any winter clothing that you didn't wear or wear very little during this past winter season. If you have a coat or gloves or hat or scarf that you didn't wear, odds are you're not gonna wear them next winter. So don't take up space in your home storing these things that you don't use, especially when someone else could use them a lot more. Do the same thing for your shoes and your boots. Donate whatever you haven't worn or just don't need anymore. One thing we already use in our closet that helps manage the mess are these two bins which contain all of our winter accessories. We don't have a spare closet, so we keep them right here on the top shelf. And they keep our hats and gloves and scarves out of the way, especially for those warmer months. This is a new purchase this year. We bought this shoe shelf to help tackle the small amount of floor space and the large amount of shoes we have in our closet. Here's a cool trick to be able to tell if it's time to donate or at least get rid of any shoes. Start with all of your shoes pointing toe out. And as you wear the shoes and put them back on the shelf, turn them around to point heel out. After a few months, you'll start to identify the shoes that you don't wear anymore. For the other side of the closet, we picked up one of these hanging shoe holders, which will be used to hold my shoes. 
Lastly, we're going to be installing some hooks in the closet so we can store our reusable bags and they'll be convenient to grab on our way out the door to the grocery store. Naturally, you'll also be able to use these hooks to hang purses or keys or whatever else you need. A few simple hooks in your closet can really help curb the clutter and can conceal items from curious sets of eyes. Cleaning out the front hall closet is a perfect spring cleaning job. The end result is a fantastically functional front closet, and it really doesn't take that much time at all. The results are so worth it. I have never seen our closet look better. So our comment question for you is when was the last time you cleaned your front closet? Let us know in the comments down below. You'll find more great spring cleaning tips at our free cleanmyspace.com community. And of course, when you join the community, you'll receive a copy of The Dirty Dish, which is my monthly newsletter. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you like this video and click this button in case you wanna to subscribe to more of this cleaning madness. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.